it's just yeah. wild that you know we went from the pentagon going like yeah okay well some ufos they're unexplained we don't know blah 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 and they're like wait you're confirming <laughs> that that's crazy you've been saying yeah. people are crazy for years saying that all oh, those things that's a weather balloon what are you talking about blah blah, blah. the area so, 51 so, the remember yeah. when people were trying to run on area 51 they're like okay come on we'll fucking gun you down yeah, okay say, well, go gun you down. but now yeah. all of a sudden they're just admitting to everything what is yeah. happening i'm telling you the next big thing is going to be aliens arriving i'm telling you it's it has to be that's what this has all been leading up to will Maybe smith slapping chris rock was the buffer that's all we're gonna get it went covid will smith slapping chris rock and now aliens Hey, how you doing, everyone? My name is Michael, the chairman, and this is Ryan Radio. And welcome back to the Walk and Roll podcast. Well, Ryan, uh, I'm finally unshadow banned on TikTok, so that's cool. Yes, and yes you are. It really shows me what I can do when I'm not shadow banned. My shit is blowing the fuck up. All my videos have immediately been getting like over 10K. Some are almost 40,000 now after I just posted them. And it's like my actual stand-up comedy, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. And uh, even on YouTube, for some reason, now I'm all of a sudden on Shadow Band as well. For some of the well, videos they're doing. I'm glad you, know. you can persevere through the land of evil through TikTok. Because you are well credited you, that I am really against TikTok. Because it TikTok is brainwashing. It's brainwashing. It Yes, it brainwashes. Literally, it's affecting everybody, especially the kids. I mean, literally, I play my like, Cooper and I play like, Mon like Warzone with like his neighbors are in high school. Whenever they die, they immediately go on TikTok. Between lobbies, they're immediately on TikTok. They're spamming our group chat of TikTok. Literally, it's just it's infiltrating our young kids' minds so that they get funneled with all this garbage. So I think it's yeah, it's a but waste it depends time. what they watch. Like it's funny because I've been talking to my sister about this. Because she sends me the most horrific things on TikTok that she finds. Her algorithm is like Tom Segura's and Tom Segura's wife from Your Mom's House podcast. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Christina, Christina P., Tom Segura's wife, finds the most horrific things too and puts them on her Instagram story. Bianca is just like that. And she sends me just the most disturbing shit. But that's her brain that goes into that, right? Mine is all stand up comedy and philosophy. So I like learn. It's still addicting and it's too time That's consuming. The it's addicting. That's why you know That's I deleted it. You know I deleted it a while ago. So I agree with you. It's still addicting, but it just like it, it depends on how you use it. Like everything is a tool. And I've definitely actually learned a lot on it because of the people I follow. So that's why I'm not against using it because I'm putting out, in my opinion, actually funny short clips. And then I'll like I'll like I took my whole stand up uh set which was about you know five minutes my most recent one mm -hmm. and i just took out every joke individually so it's like you know 15 seconds each uh yeah tick or whatever and i put mm -hmm. captions and i put some visuals like my joke about uh how my spine is in the shape of a question mark and how could yeah. you imagine the predator pulling out my spine being like what the fuck like you know i put mm -hmm. the predator there holding my spine yeah. and i put some x-rays up uh if i were to sell my spine as an nft stuff like that you know so they're funny, short little bits. I don't think that's doing harm to anybody. But like the, we've talked about this before on some of our earlier podcast episodes, like the TikTok challenges that would actually get kids killed. That is bad. Well, it's, it's and I even, agree. It's not even that. And they took it's way too that. late. It was way for, too late for them to take action. They're like, yeah, now it's bad for kids to, you know, ingest Tide Pods. Now we'll take action on it after they made like shit tons of money from, you know, ads and whatever they're doing. Well, it's, know, not, it's, not that, it's not that they were monetizing like people dying. Like the, what was it? Milk crate challenge to well, the the milk crate things. Bought. Well, for me, it's not yeah. even that. People watch twenty second clips of these people like even interacting with fucking squirrels. I mean, I mean, if people want to interact with squirrels in the sixties, they wouldn't fucking pull out their box. They'd actually go out outside and interact with the fucking. Squirrel. I like animal like, videos too. Like you don't these, like animal yeah, no, videos? No, if you want to go pet an animal, go outside. The sun doesn't hurt people. The, your phone hurts you. Go outside. Literally, I. Good for you that you're gonna use TikTok to grow your shit. 
I'm not. I refuse to use it. I only downloaded it just to like and comment your shit. But now since I can go on the website, I'm uninstalling it again off my phone because it is a waste of space. I'm already I'm already like over my limit and gigabytes already on my phone. But it just deleting that will already shed a little bit off of it. But I refuse to use TikTok. The only TikTok I care about is the time. Okay, that's it. So <laughs> well, no. that's why I call it TikTok. Probably is because you're so addicted, you're wasting your time. Like they're making yeah, fun of like with their name. They're making fun of how addicted their users are. Like TikTok, TikTok, you know, like you're wasting yeah. your time, you know. But yeah, and, I think and Trump it does depend it. on how you Trump use it. Trump was like, like, no one should buy this shit. When this was up for sale, Trump's like, no one should buy this. Well, guess what? Oracle bought it. And then now it's just infecting young kids' minds in America and everything. It's like, it's digital fentanyl. China's bringing in <laughs> fentanyl into our country and it's killing people. Now it's digital <sighs> fentanyl. It's infecting these kids' minds and they're doing stupid shit because of it. So TikTok it's literally is digital, digital fentanyl. TikTok is digital fentanyl. That's I mean, I don't is. disagree. It is like, like I said, when I'm learning shit, it is still addicting. There's something about scrolling. I saw some statistics about this too. Like for some reason, men are more addicted to that kind of scrolling thing. If you're addicted, versus go like, to a brothel. Guess, you can do this with your fingers instead of doing this. Go to a brothel if you need to do something with their hands or a strip club. You can't touch. Maybe you strip do brothels you even touch. exist? Do they call them brothels oh, anymore? Brothel, brothels still exist. Trust like me. Like a whorehouse? Brothels still exist. A whore, yeah. Brothels still exist. Have you been exist. to whorehouses? Uh, no. I just know because Lamar Odom was found arrested, like cracked out of his mind a couple years ago <laughs> at one. So, no. Literally, if you have something to do with your fingers, go outside. Do something. Go do fucking gardening work if you need to do something with their hands literally this is useless you well, might as well be lizzo you're useless so <laughs> well that's one of the ones that is blowing up that's the one that has about forty thousand right now is a lizzo one about um oh fuck i always forget my own jokes um the rules on the roller my coaster. spine yeah yeah my my spine has so many curves no my my spine's in the shape of a question mark my spine has more curves than lizzo on a roller coaster that was it yeah. It's just haunting. It's just horrifying to imagine that poor roller coaster has to carry all that dead weight. You see how I put her on the roller coaster in the picture? Yeah. Like it, I it photoshopped was not her on a roller coaster. It was just not helpful <laughs> well, she's to visualize. It's just not helpful to visualize that she probably takes up a whole fucking section of a fucking roller coaster. I mean, all those kids that want to go ride that roller coaster. Oh, excuse me. You got to fit <laughs> Lizzo's fat ass on that thing first. I wonder, they might, Lizzo, I, don't know. I wonder if she has to pay for two tickets. Because, you know, like fat people on airplanes now have to pay for the price of two tickets because their fat spills over into yeah. another section yeah. and literally someone can't live that. there. Or yeah. there. My dad had experience on the way to uh, Augusta when we went to the Masters in 2011. We were flying from Seattle to Atlanta and the whole flight, my dad had a fat ass sitting on him in the, in the, on the edge on the aisle seat. <laughs> so he was scrunched between until like halfway through when the guy's between girlfriend said, Hey, people? I'll switch with you. No, no, his girlfriend was skinny, but he was between the fat guy and the skinny girl. And the girl offered to switch seats with my dad. So he can at least breathe a little bit, oh, you know? Nice. So can you but, imagine I mean, being stuck get, between two, like 400 pound people? Well, I mean, I mean, isn't it, I mean, you you don't want to have too many fat people on a flight because they because there's only so much oxygen on a fucking plane. You don't want them to take up all of it. So, I mean, but now it's horrifying. I mean, how would that work? Where would you put Lizzo on a roller coaster? You don't want to put her in the front because it's gonna fucking stall it. And then if you don't want to put her in the back, because it'll just do a fucking wheelie the whole time. So you kind of have to put her like dead center. But then also you're gonna have to like no no dead put, center like, would stall it. If you have her in the front, the momentum would like go so fast. They well, would like flip over, they would just flip. Yeah, they'd like go off like a like a cliff, you know, when they're going on the high part. Yeah, yeah, have so yeah, much momentum they, they go. Yeah. they go up to space yeah, so, like a like a fucking rocket built by Elon Musk. Speaking yeah, of Elon so she Musk, won't be able to experience Disneyland. Speaking of Elon Musk, he bought the the majority of shares in Twitter. He owns nine percent, which is mm -hmm. the biggest stock stakeholder in Twitter. It only took three percent out of his total net worth. Dude. So, I mean, you imagine buying that a big of a company, but it only costs you 3% of your total net worth. I mean, that must be the ultimate I life mean, right there. I'm so happy, dude. He was, and so great because he was talking so much shit about Twitter, rightfully so. And then he's like, you know what? Fuck it. And I don't know if he did it sneaky. I think he did do it sneaky. And he just bought well, the no shares. Heard about it. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to bring freedom of speech back. He's the real yeah. life Iron Man. He really is. And it's crazy because yeah. Iron Man was actually based on him. And uh, Robert Downey Jr. spent time with Elon Musk in order to play uh, Iron Man in the first movie. 
he he's the real life Iron Man. It's amazing. Hey, hey, Elon, if you want to smoke a joint? I got a few down here, bro. Just come down Dude, to I, the house. I can't wait to hang out with Elon. I'll, I'll, I'll get us to hang out with him eventually. I guarantee. Well, I will. Yeah, but yeah, you just you'll be you'll get the second hand smoke because him and I will be puffing joints, doing puff puff pass, and you'll if be in the I'm middle. If I ever smoke and weed, I'll smoke weed with Elon Musk. I don't care about Elon's collapse. Not even Elon Musk will be able to save you then, though. If you have a heart attack and you die, not even Elon will be able to save you. So you may not. We might want to chill that a little bit. Invent an electronic heart just real quick. As soon as he sees me, I'm like, heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, I hope I would love for him to bring Trump back on there. I mean, well, first of all, there goes Truth Social. I bet you Trump's pissed at Elon right now. I created this whole beautiful, fantastic app, just like Twitter. But yet, you buy Twitter to unban me. What ha- what is this? He's so, like, so, a little yeah. too late. Uh, a little, a little too, too late. late. Yeah. Yes, a little too late. But honestly, he might save Trump from himself because no one else is going to go on fucking Truth Social. Dude, hey, man, I what finally media got on it. Truth Social. I finally got on it, and it is dead. I mean, there's just yeah. nothing happening at all. Well, no, because it's now the layout. Fucking Elon Musk Twitter. It, it, I don't know who's designing this stuff for him. Like Trump used to be so good at marketing and picking just the right people to do stuff. Right. But I don't know what he's been doing lately. Like everything's everything he's trying to do is which is commendable. I'm glad he's trying to build alternative platforms for freedom of speech because it's necessary. But the name we've talked about before, True Social, is fucking terrible. And once I'm on the app, they tried to mimic Twitter and it is not a good mimic of Twitter. Like it's just it's yeah. not well made. It's terrible. Well, I mean, and everyone Jimmy, on there it's just like a, it's just a giant like right like people on the right echo chamber. And it's, yeah, same with Rumble. Yeah. But I mean, do you think maybe it was not Wait, about same the with Bumble? Rumble. Rumble. Oh, Rumble. Is I thought it Bumble. Rumble. No, Bumble. No, Bumble is a great dating app. They should but, have. A, um, is there a is there a dating app for people on the right only? Well, I wonder. No, because usually people on stuff like that really don't care about your political beliefs. Like the news try to act like it, but like you'll come across people who really don't care. They just want to fucking shag you. So, I mean, it, it's it's more of just, you know, well, is your I've cock seen, big or not? So. I've seen polls about, like, if people on the left are willing to date people on the right, and if people on the right are willing to date people on the left, politically. Yeah. And I guess people on the right, like, overwhelmingly don't care about someone's political views. Oh, like, they yeah, care, they but don't. they're willing to give you a chance and date you. Yeah. And people on the left... It's, a, it's like 60% are not willing to associate oh, yeah, no, with people not. on the yeah. right. So it's not even. There's yeah, only no, a, like a, talk about this. a certain amount like on in that area where like, you know, yeah. like, you know a Venn diagram where it would cross over in the middle? Yeah. Like there's mm-hmm. only a certain percentage of people on the left um, who would be willing to go on people with the right. Because there's more yeah. people on the right than on the left who would do it. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, there, I mean, to be fair, though, sane people will come across these far left people on t- and Tinder and Bumble, and they're instantly going to swipe left. So they ain't going to they ain't want to come close to that shit. So at least, you know, Bumble, Tinder has all that. But I think what if maybe True Social is maybe more of like a not an actual like design, but an idea for Trump to just draw people away from Twitter so they don't have to like experience that doctor trying to make Twitter lose its following base. So. It was just base created on an idea. Because if if he re- tr- if Trump like really Avengers? cared about, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, here this is an idea. Yeah, if if Trump really wanted to create a platform, I bet you he would put it more into it. I bet you he just wanted to get the idea out there so people who have common sense or are on the on the right will just leave Twitter. So Twitter will not have as many people on it as it once would. So I yeah. think maybe he's just gonna like. I mean, a, it kind of uh, worked. Hey, a smoke signal. It kind of you know, worked. Like a lot of people did join it. And there was a long yeah. ass queue to finally use it. But once I finally got in, I'm like, dude, it's dead in here. Like, it's, dead. it's just not. Ugh. Same with Getter. Yeah. Same with uh, Gee, what's, Rumble. What the I mean, fuck even is Rumble. Getter? Rumble's. What kind of. What's the name Getter? What is that? I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> These names dude. are terrible. Getter. What's up, Getter? Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, like, what is that garbage? What is the other one? There is another one that was a terrible name. Oh, they're, they're all terrible names. Let me I look. I just know of Rumble, True Social. I didn't know of Getter, but that's Like, what is awful. Rumble, too? Rumble? What, what is, like, YouTube <laughs> yeah, this is, is such a good name. YouTube. Like, there's a tube. There used to be yeah. tubes in televisions, right? And then, yeah. so it's, they took the premise, like, hey, you're on TV. Like, YouTube. Broadcaster. Yeah. That used to be their slogan, right? YouTube. Broadcast yourself. Amazing branding. Now there's yeah, it was. Rumble. 
Well, let's yeah. pair ready to rumble. Like, what do you? Yeah, I mean, what? People, when people think it, it's yeah, not just for wrestling. Think, like, what? Yeah, what is the name? Well, rumble? no, when people I download don't... Rumble, they think it's like find your local fight clubs near you. You know, like you know, like, yeah, no, no, it's oh, not. Parlor. It's a fucking YouTube That's one, far right. What the fuck is parlor? parlor? That's just like I'm going to go fucking get a haircut. I mean, it's a barber yeah, parlor. Exactly, a parlor. I can't get a loft top parlor. Thank you. I guess it's based on the idea of like parlaying. You know, like in fencing. You know, I think that's when you start a fencing or fight from or pirates. So you mean from like Pirates Caribbean fighting... parlay, parlay, parlay. From Pirates, you remember them Pirates Caribbean movies? Parlay is like you fight. surrender. No, a parlay is when you surrender, and then the the um, the pirate code is when you when someone says parlay, you can't harm them until you bring them to the captain and they speak with the captain. Like that's oh. what parlay means. Yeah. I so like it's how like, you know that from Pirates of the Caribbean. You're, well, you'll yeah. know things I wouldn't know just because of. Like you know so many specific movie references. Yeah. Your references, like most yeah. of your education is from movies. It's insane. Yeah, well, I can tell like you, I can, yeah, Elizabeth Swan used it. It was the first time it was used was when Elizabeth used it to Captain Elizabeth, Barbosa wait, wait, wait. on the first Elizabeth movie. Swan? You mean, yes. Who's that? Elizabeth Swan. That was, that, that, okay. Elizabeth Swan was the girl Orlando Bloom married in Pirates of the Caribbean. That was her, Kira Knightley's character in the movie was Elizabeth Swan. That was her name. Oh, I thought and you met. I thought you were calling no. Elizabeth Swan, Kira Knightley. No. That was her character no. name. That was her character name. Oh my god! And you actually know the, the character yes. name. I thought when you were the just pirates like raided, saying the wrong name no. for Kira Knightley. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. When the pirates raided her town, like in the first first movie, like the pirates grabbed her and she yells parlay, and then they had to take her to see Captain Barbosa. You're crazy, I mean, bro. Like, like that's how, how that's how it is. How many times have you seen Pirates of the Caribbean? Well, not a whole lot, but I did watch them last month because I had to show my girlfriend because she's never seen it. So that's probably why it's fresh in my memory. You're, and but. guess what? And what are you doing? You're where, where are you going tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to Disneyland. What I mean, a surprise! I mean, Paris Caribbean, I mean, Paris Caribbean is closed for refurbishment right now, so I won't be able to go on that ride. But I'll be able to go to Indiana Jones, Star Tours. I get to build my own lightsaber. I get to fly the Millennium Falcon. You know, I get to go to Avengers Campus. I get to build a web shooter. Be fucking sick. You know, to be awesome. Go see Avengers Campus because I was supposed to see it opening opening month, but it, you know, COVID happened. Thanks, Fauci. And I, so I couldn't go see that shit, but now I'm going to see it tomorrow, oh, Tuesday. Look, I oh, imagine it, it would be fun. But it's like, a food and wine festival, have, too. Don't you have, like, other priorities you want to do? No. Nope. Like, our fun. generation yeah, my priority, is just, like, my priority saving money is to having, go to Disneyland. My priority is, is having fun in my life. Literally, you only have one life. Do you want to spend it, you know just being depressed or do you want to enjoy life do you want to enjoy life and all it's wonderful you know ch obviously you know childish moments where people say you're child i'm like yeah because you enjoy life that way so that's why i enjoy you can life, enjoy I life am a child. as an adult you don't have to be a child yes i really want to enjoy life sitting my fat ass behind a desk on a nine to five job where my boss yells up my ass yeah, all you day can start about your own paper. thing you've seen me i started two podcasts I'm doing stand-up comedy. I'm trying to build my own business. Like, what do you mean? You could do that well, too. We're just, I'm we're trying. Just two I tried people. to get you I to mean, do it. Like, I was trying to get you to start your own sports podcast because you love sports. Remember, I came up with the name Ryan Radio for you, and yeah, like we don't you want to do that? Like, we could work on that together. I mean, yeah, but I, I just, I want. You'd okay, go to I want to get outside. I want to go outside. I want to have fun. Disneyland is outside. It's on a roller coaster, or you can go walk around and you can fucking get fat off a fucking corn dog and just enjoy the so nice weather. Your goal weather. is to get fat cool. and ride roller coasters. No, as you get older, that's no. Your it's it's having I'm adult. having fun in my life, and plus I'm going outside, outside in the yeah. sun, the beautiful, the beautiful. Breathe in the nature's nice air. You know and what I hope? I hope Lizzo it. is on your roller coaster. And you shoot off into space. I think there's actually a weight limit, so she won't be able to go on it. I wonder if she can. No, there's fuck no. I rode on like a lot of roller coasters at Disneyland. Dude, there's no could way you her imagine fat Disney? ass could fit in that shit. <laughs> Do you think Disney will like get canceled if they deny Lizzo to get on the roller coaster? No, they're probably saving everybody else. I mean, they're. I mean, they're yeah, probably but they'll be saving fat shaming Lizzo. They'll get canceled if, Di well, if, I mean, if they, the Disney aren't park. They short, but they're short shaming Lizzo already. Riding the roller coaster. They're, they're fat already short shaming. shaming. They're already short shaming. You have to be this tall to ride this ride. So but people don't care that much about midgets yet. 
Like they're banning the word midget now in recent years, but they don't care about people with disabilities. Like I told you, midgets are still in the class of disabilities. We haven't yeah. gone there yet. No one gives a shit about us really yet. No, they give a shit about fat people for some goddamn reason. So no. I, I, that, that's like a real world possibility that Disney yeah. gets in trouble for not allowing fat people on the coasters. That's a yeah. real possibility. Yeah. I mean, I agree, but no, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna go experience Marvel. Like I said, I'm gonna go come Spider Man. I'm gonna go ride the new ride. I'm gonna take a picture with Black Panther again. Try to get you know Star Lord this time. Do you want to get all their I'm, signatures I'm, too when they're walking actually, around the park? You can't because because uh, since California is still far left, last time I checked, oh my god, they really? they, were, they have special guidelines for Disneyland saying, oh, you can't actually physically meet characters until like may or something. what a shit. bummer that's gonna ruin your vacation ryan not really you can't not get really. black panther's signature i mean oh I, I haven't gotten a signature i haven't gotten a signature since like, like 10 or 12 i just get pictures with them but really i just care about the rides and then this time it's gonna be the food and wine festival so i'm gonna get hammered off wine while i'm fucking in california adventure you know fucking soaring around the world and grizzly river rapids it'd be awesome it'd be so fun I'm excited. You know what I also hope happens? I hope that when you're on the roller coaster or on the rapids or like the log ride or whatever, like you start to develop scoliosis from all the twists and turns. You know and what's funny? You end up like that, it's funny is that when I try to enjoy something that you don't particularly like, you wish harm, which is kind of like a far left idea. Oh, you don't agree <laughs> with my ideals, so I, I, wish you, left, I, you, I wish you harm. You I'm are. I mean, left. you dress like you're on the far left. Are you supposed to help Biden? Like in the next couple of minutes, hey guys, um, are you the are you like the sign language interpreter for Biden when he speaks? <laughs> you kind of like sitting there in your nice outfit. Can you tie imagine in me your doing that with my shirt. fucked up hands, my spider well, hands? I mean, well, that's okay. You would because since Joe stutters a lot and he kind of pauses, <laughs> he'll buy you time for your fingers to catch up. Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah, how I'm, would that I'm, work? I'm if, Joe if, Biden's new press secretary. Can't you tell him dress for it? I'm the new okay, Jen Psaki. Well, she resigned, oh, right? Great. Did she? I believe she resigned from her job. I really love her. She's awful. She was awful. Anyways. It must be a terrible job. You got like I did not like her at all. But what I'm saying is, it must be a terrible job for. Let's say you sign up and you're like you believe in the cause for whatever they're doing, right? And then you're like, wait, I have to defend this today. What did he say? What did Joe Biden say? Today? Like, imagine over the years. Let's say Jen Psaki over the years has been like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I cannot defend this guy anymore because whatever Biden does or says with his dementia, she now has to go to battle and war for him against yeah. the press. Well, I mean, it's got to well, suck. I mean, well, no, it's because she Trump. You have to defend Trump all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, sure it, was it, it, it was her name. Kaylee McEnany. Was that was it Kaylee McEnany? Is that her name? I could yeah, be she was great. Completely. She was the but best. She was great. I bet you even at times she's like. Okay, Trump, I love you, but you really didn't have to necessarily tweet that. That was a little <laughs> harsh. So then, you know, CNN, Jim Acosta is going to finger his own asshole while he asks that question to Kaylee. Hey, you know, Trump tweeted this. You know what? Any response to that? So I bet you Kaylee was, you know, kind of like some days were like, no, this. But no, the thing is that Kaylee was able to, you know, speak to the media. She was able to just relay information. Fucking Jen Psaki was just a piece of shit. She was awful. <laughs> like no one liked her. And by and Kamala were probably like, okay, she's not helping us. We're like, we need to dump. We gotta get like dump dead weight, even though she, they are dead weight themselves. She could have been Mark Zuckerberg in disguise, genuinely. Like, yeah, I, well, she I mean, looked exactly Mark. Like, have you seen the comparisons? She no, looks like but, Mark Zuckerberg. Exactly. I mean, she deserves to be given. I mean, she, she should have gotten fired. I mean, she was sitting up in her nice little rich neighborhood when she was complaining about how crime, how the crime rate is being like, is being inflamed just so it looks like it's bad on Biden. Bitch, no, it's not. You're just saying that because you live in a nice, lavish neighborhood. Crime's actually that bad. It's so funny Anyways. because under Trump, they were saying that, you know, like the crime was so uh, bad, but not Antifa or Black Lives Matter burning down buildings are like no that's not bad but going out with a mask those are criminals you know those are yeah well yeah. i mean i mean it's like trump tr there was just high crime like, well to say it's kind of like a double-edged sword it was every year or so like maybe like you know this year could be a low crime year the next year it could be a high crime year so it just happened under trump but that was just regular crime this is excessive like a, a woman can uh, literally there was a video of a parked taxi cab in chicago a woman walks up to it breaks the window steals cash and an iphone and just walks away it's just so blatant now and no one can do like anything that. there's so yeah. many like that now that didn't happen under trump
yeah, someone got gunned down. Okay, that's murder. But you, under Trump, I didn't see someone just, you know, stroll. Oh, 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 cab with some cash. Okay, let me break in. Can't do anything well, about it. I mean, it. a lot cash of bad things did under, happen under Trump, but it was more because of governors at, in the state level. Yeah. Like, Trump was actually really light on all yeah. that stuff. He didn't mm -hmm. do much. He probably, in yeah. my opinion, he should have done more. Like, calling mm -hmm. the National Guard to prevent buildings being burned down. I think he should have done yeah. a little more. But I think, um, I think to be but fair he to wanted Trump, to leave though, it up. He wanted to leave it up to the yeah. states as a precedent, which I yes. also agree with. But you had Andrew Cuomo, um, you know, doing some not so good things along well, with I Kay think... Brown and Gavin Newsom and uh, Gretchen Whitmore. And you know. oh, I, I've been thinking about this. Kate Brown fucking sucks. But I think it was more of Ted Wheeler than Kate Brown. Especially in downtown Portland, that was more of Ted Wheeler. But I think Trump, since Trump They're was so terrible. old school American, and he really believes in you know not using his powers just because he feels like you know how Biden sent all his executive orders mm. or whatever in his first month of president. I think Trump was like, I'm hoping that shit will resolve itself in the individual states. I'm not going to use my power for this, this, and this. You know, I want this to be like America. I want this to be like where individual states can hopefully fix itself. And then, but if I really need to, I can go in. I don't need to like flip a switch and okay, I can use my executive order here and then over here and then over here. You know, I think he just wanted to kind of just, you know, be a normal president. You know, what I'm thinking about right now is that what if we actually elect Emperor Palpatine? <laughs> like, oh, okay. imagine Joe Biden we about this. actually. We were talking about this. We were, we were talking about this. We, we did like a couple of, yeah, we couple of episodes ago. And like I, I said, actually I'd take into Palpatine. Emperor no. Palpatine. Yes. Yeah. We talked about this because we you and I agreed that actually we'd be better under Palpatine <laughs> because we'd have more structure order and we'd have the best army in the world. So, I mean, but, um, yeah, but I'm saying like, sure. could you oh. just imagine him literally turning into Emperor Palpatine? No, because Palpatine would have to. What if Joe Biden no. actually comes out as an alien? Because there's this big giant report that came out today by the Pentagon. Yeah, I was, I was in that, that, um, that. Yes. Yeah. That, so they declassified the Pentagon declassified 1,500 documents that are proven, saying that okay, yes, aliens are real. We don't know what to do about it. People have gotten uh, abducted. People for, confirmed. People have gotten severely like burned all over their body. Mm -hmm. They believe from yeah. like electromagnetic, whatever from their propulsion mm -hmm. systems from the ships, um, yeah. like tons of brain damage and stuff like that. They don't believe it's intentional. They believe it's from like whatever technology they have. So it's like a byproduct. Mm -hmm. The other big one though that was trending, and Joe Rogan even posted about this with a caption, "I'm pregnant," which is hilarious. There's unexplained pregnancies. In our time, from UFOs. Well, let's be honest, Michael. Like, what the fuck does that even? Okay, listen, how, listen. How do they? I want to actually read the doc. I want to be like Alex Jones. I got the documents. Yes. You know, I want to read the documents. Yes. I don't know where I go to yes. read them, like CIA.gov yeah, or what? Because how is this happening? And what does this do for religion around the world? Like, was the Virgin well, Mary, you know, abducted and sexually abused by a Harvey Weinstein alien? I don't know. Well, or not that, but think about this. Let's unravel your life for a second. My you life? You know, yes, your life. Because the story comes yeah. out of aliens being impreg impregnating humans. So you never really met your dad. Let's just say <laughs> that. You know, you never have. <laughs> um, you somehow have all this bad luck with health problems. Like, you're, you're, like doctors say they have never seen anything like this before. Like, they're literally taking your x-rays and showing them to classes saying, hey, kids, this is yeah. what to do when you see this. That is actually okay. true. They've used okay. me yes. to teach lessons across Think the about world. This. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, people are suffering like these, these um, problems from encountering UFOs. So maybe I'm saying, Michael, maybe be, maybe you had like an Anakin experience where maybe you were born from like an alien or metachlorines and you just, you know, became an alien. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, the, it, the it, the it, count, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're like a, you're a hybrid, maybe I'm just saying, but it's sometimes actually, I actually believe like there's like something's different in me, I think. Sometimes I believe maybe I fucking am an alien. I don't know. I don't know. You're like, maybe that, I am. You're like that TV show on TVS where the guy is is an alien that lives on the on on Earth and he acts like he, he like shapeshifts him into a human. <laughs> maybe I'm an alien with amnesia. You know, 
I don't oh, know. That's that's Joe. Maybe you know what I thought of before. What if I'm an alien where they permanently erase my memory, and they want me to live as a human, and they come back like towards the end of my life, and they're like, "Hey, now it's your time. Like, do does humanity deserve to live based on your human mm-hmm. experience?" And then I have yeah. to be like, "Yes or no?" After they already gave me all my memories back, and now I'm like, "Actually, humanity is pretty cool. Keep them alive." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you could. Okay, I wonder you if there's a movie like, like that hybrid. done. I wonder if that's been done before. As a, I should make that as a movie. Has that been I'm done? Just, Have you heard of I, anything like that? I don't know, but just thinking about aliens impregnating humans, I just think about Alien when that fucking thing just popped out of their stomachs. Like you're, that's, that's the only scene you've seen. Like you're too scared to watch Alien. I, I can't Ryan, watch it. It's such it, an like, old movie. They're fucking puppets. Just, Get over it. I I know that, but I I it's just it's P, I'm gonna use you know PTSD not PTSD, but it's like. That the one time I saw Alien in theaters was when that happened, and I threw up all over the theater. I threw up on people in front of me, <laughs> like so. I, I I'm like I'm never getting watching that. That just makes me crazy. Yeah, like I see that like in Prometheus, where the girl or was it Prometheus, where the Pro- girl goes Prometheus, in the tube, yeah. and the girl goes in the fucking tube to like get the thing out of her before. Like I watched that scene. I banned up and watched that scene on YouTube. I almost <laughs> vomited by the end of that. I I That's couldn't. That's a pretty I, hard just, scene. It is a pretty it's, hard. It's scene. just it's queasy. Like the seeing the aliens themselves, you know, fighting predators is is doesn't bother me. It's just the eggs with like the thing that left onto your fucking mouth and they <laughs> fucking shin that shit and uh, that whole thing is. Michael disturbing. Fassbender so, is so good in Prometheus and Alien Covenant. He's if such a if good bad you guy. if you sit down with me and we watch the movie and we just skip over those scenes, I'd be down to watch it. But I just I can't watch that because like I said, I it genuinely the, has the a really good story by itself. I, I, a I, great I, story. No, I'm not saying the movies are shit. I love Predator. I love the Predator movies. I love the Alien but and versus Predator. Like he movies. yanks out the fucking spine with the but, skull. But, Michael, and but again, we played. You and I played Gears of War. We were in sixth grade. Yeah, we so fucking ran around you, with chainsaws. Why can't you handle that's different, it? Alien, really. It's just it's just the thing that pops out of the stomach. Like I don't get the spine. It's like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's really fake. weird. I don't know. I agree. I don't. I can't tell you. I would love to tell my body, don't fucking throw up, Ryan. But it's like I just watch it and you just need I just get the therapy. feeling. You just got to keep you know yeah, going. Exposure therapy. Yeah, that's what the far left needs. But, you know, it's just, oh, Predator's really good. Except for the new one. The new one was kind of shit. Except Olivia Munn's kind of hot, but. I haven't seen it yet. I heard it was garbage, but. It was gar. I mean, I, I did like seeing a, like a fucking huge, big ass Predator. It was kind of cool. And I kind of was staring at Olivia Munn quite a bit, but it's other than hot. that. Yeah. Wait, wait is she married or dating John Mulaney? Yeah. Uh, I think they were, they dated and then they broke up and they had a baby together. <laughs> Like, really? okay, we have because you're kind of tight on time. Yeah, I gotta quick. go. I gotta go. Yeah, but it's just, it just baffles my mind. <laughs> these celebrities are like, let's get together, let's break up, let's have a baby together. Like, there's just, and then they just, so you're bringing kids into this, into like babies into life where there's like, yeah, hey, you were conceived by my ex boyfriend. You know, we're on and off nowadays. <laughs> so it's like, you never really yeah, have an actual father to, figure. Not a great yeah, way to start a stable family. Figure. You know, yeah. Not a, I mean, he probably did it when he was high on cocaine, just blasting inside of her. You know, he went to oh, yeah. he was like the fucking Kool Aid Man from Family Guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he. Uh, I think he just got out of uh, rehab recently. I'm gonna go see him in August. I got tickets. He's a great oh, is stand-up. He, is the guy a comedian? I, John Mulaney? Yeah. Oh, I don't know who it was. I just, I just hear Olivia Munn, John Mulaney. Expect. Oh, you're only kid. interested because like, of Olivia. Don't Munn. care. <laughs> well, I mean, I, she's hot, but the, I, but I don't like my grandma who buys like extra magazine and people's magazine you know, all this garbage i get like my 30 seconds of news from snapchat then i fucking go out for like two yeah that's days like and, our like, modern in. day people magazine is snapchat yeah. stories that's like that's like people well, because, magazine for our generation yeah because well, because like vice and other people like and like other news like um Fox News is on Snapchat, and like you just like t- I just tap through until I see something. Oh, I kind of like this. Tap, tap, mm-hmm. tap, tap, skip, 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 skip. You know, oh, this kind of cool. You know, so I just kind of so blow okay through it. You're okay with tapping, but not scrolling on TikTok. You're okay with no, tapping. I just like though. TikTok in general. I mean, I just TikTok's just horrendous. Well, Snapchat, you're tapping through stuff. Same shit. You but, but I mean, but literally, I don't give a shit what my friends are doing on Snapchat. I was, I see there like other than your story, I literally just. Just so I can stop seeing it, you know. I I really don't care what my friends are posting on their stories. Like, I really just, it. Well, I can't because I because some people don't have. Uh, I communicate with some people through there. Are you DM through Snapchat? Okay. Yeah, 
anyways, to sum this all up, because I got to go, uh, it's just yes. wild that, you know, we went from the Pentagon going like, yeah, okay, well, some UFOs, they're unexplained, we don't know, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, wait, you're confirming that? That's crazy. You've been saying yeah. people are crazy for years, saying that all those things, that's a weather balloon. What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Area so, 51. So, the remember yeah. people were trying to run at Area 51. They're like, okay, come on. We'll fucking gun you down. Yeah, okay, say, well, go gun you down. It. But now yeah. all of a sudden, they're just admitting to everything? What is yeah. happening? I'm telling you, the next big thing is going to be aliens arriving. I'm telling you, it's it has to be. That's what this has all been leading up to. Will Maybe Smith slapping Chris Rock was the buffer. That's all we're going to get. It went COVID, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, and now aliens. I mean, we already have illegal aliens in this country, so I mean, we might as well just have you know, aliens, actually aliens come down. Great so. joke, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Real original. Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm just really curious what this is going to do to religions worldwide if aliens show up because i mean that's literally what happened to the virgin mary an unexplained well, I mean, pregnancy that's what happened well, could, to the virgin mary and jesus was born was jesus an alien i'm wearing a cross too i'm not trying to be anti-religious under this tie i have a cross i'm not well actually anything. real quickly though I want to pose a i'm question. just saying if if that happens when people actually believe more in god and jesus because they're like okay if aliens were real God could have actually been real, and He could have actually created this planet. That's what I'm saying. So it actually, it, could de it depends. It would redefine what we think a God is. Could there be different kinds of gods? I mean, anything like what level could it be? What level would you have to be power wise to be a God? Because could there be God here, a God up there? You know, yeah, fucking could Eternals be gonna show up. Because if we're in a simulation, for example, let's say we're in a simulation. Right, we would, we would be in a simulation within a simulation yeah. with a simulation. Because if you assume, like Elon Musk has talked about, I was talking about this when I was five years old. Everyone thought I was fucking nuts. Um, it's crazy. Well, that you Elon... are kind of nuts. You do have a couple screws <laughs> loose, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I've been talking about the same stuff. It's really nice to hear. When I was a teenager, I heard Elon Musk talk about it in a TED talk. I'm like, holy shit, I'm not crazy. Thank God. Because he's talking about it, so I'm not crazy. It's funny. Um, Two different lives. But, you were, as a kid, listening to Elon Musk. As a kid, I was fucking playing sports. Two different kid people right here on one yeah, podcast. There I mean, you go. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd also stay inside during recess and, like, draw up all these inventions. And I'd, I drew up... It, remember I told you in the hospital, after my second open-heart surgery, my dad took the remote away from me? Because he had to... It's a whole thing. He had to show up the alien? by the court to prove, like, to the... Trying to get the child support lowered or the something. Alien. I don't know. So he, my mom went home one night um to get sleep so my dad was there during the nighttime and he took the remote away for me to watch golf or and hockey highlights he's from canada so um i'm like okay well he took the remote away from me so i don't know what to do so uh in elementary school i used to stay in from recess and draw up all these inventions and ideas i had and while i was in the hospital i came up with this idea for a train that ran on repelling magnets so i get faster and faster and faster and then have attracting magnets at a certain point at various levels to slowly slow it down and stop. And um, that was around the time when bullet trains had just been starting to be developed. This was, I think bullet trains were invented in 2001 and patented, and I came up with it in 2006 or seven. So it was a couple of years off, but you know, I, I had that kind of, I was always inventing trying, trying stuff and thinking about know. philosophy and, anyways, bottom line. So I was thinking about, you know, like if we're in a simulation and I yeah. try and tell people and my family's like, Michael, I don't have time for this. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. My grandfather would sometimes listen to me, but he was also like, I don't know, Michael, but he would at least listen to me. Um, but, you know, if you assume any rate of progression in technology for simulated reality, which is video games, mm -hmm. we will eventually create one that is indistinguishable from our own. So maybe a god created one simulation right our god and then yeah. in that simulation another god made another simulation blah 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 so on and so forth that's one big possibility yeah. other thing is maybe aliens are like they made us and experimented on lower you know animals like monkeys and stuff and then we were created or I don't know, you know. It well, then it creates the yeah, whole think, idea. Maybe well, then also creates the idea. Maybe aliens helped the humans build the pyramids of Egypt. I, th I mean, I think probably so. I really do. I mean, I, I think, I definitely think aliens. Depends what you think an alien is. Are they interdimensional, as Alex Jones would say? Are they over the border from illegally? Other, you're just still on that, right? <laughs>
<laughs> are they from another planet? Are they? Well, I'm on you it. Know, you I, have to define what aliens are. You have to define what a what a god is or gods, yes. plural, could be multiple. Like we, yeah. we're gonna have to start redefining things as we move forward with this new information. Yeah, I agree. No, it's gonna I'm be just a so wild couple of years coming up here. It is. It is. No, ne on next episode, we'll have to talk about this, but I'm just on it because I'm just laughing over the idea that the governor of Texas came out and said that I'm signing a bill that said that any illegal immigrant that crosses this border, they're, I'm going to force them to get on a bus and I'm driving them to Washington, D.C. and I'm leaving them on the doorsteps of the White House. Greg Abbott said that? <laughs> yes. He really? signed a bill <laughs> where literally anyone who's illegal crossing the state of Texas has to get on a bus and he's driving them to Washington, D.C. and he's leaving them at the White You're House. serious. I thought you were yes, saying, like he's, he's saying it as a joke. He's no, serious? this is serious. That's I heard great. that this is happening. That's so funny. I heard this is happening. <laughs> that's so, so funny. Oh, so my God. So we'll talk about the next episode. But that's why I'm stuck on it because I'm like, there's no, like, I couldn't believe it. But I'm like, this actually could happen. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. This has been another fun episode. If you haven't, check out my stand-up on my YouTube channel, Michael the Chairman. We also yes. got a bunch of other podcasts. And uh, if you don't have time to watch the whole podcast or uh, my whole stand-up sets, I make them into little shorts, too, with some visuals. And I put captions, and they're they're shorter and sweeter. So um, mm -hmm. we yep. also got the Walk and Roll podcast channel by itself on YouTube. And then, of course, we're available on every platform as Walk and Roll podcast. So check out thanks. stand-ups on, on TikTok. Oh, yeah, I'm I also on like TikTok. Your, if you and, like TikTok. If yeah. you like TikTok, check it out. TikTok, Instagram, everything. It's all either Walk and Roll Podcast or Michael the Chairman for me. And you don't really post that much on social media, but Ryan is oh. Ryan Radio. So I would I like to help post... you start up a podcast where you can rant about sports. I think you should try. I would love it, to but... do sports. I'm I, I'm thinking like I'm because I you know, I got I'm moving and stuff like that. So I'd like to do it. It's always in the back of my head that I want to do it, but I always have something else that comes up that I have to fucking do. All right, well, so, we'll let you guys know if he ever does. Yeah. So, um, yeah, check all that stuff out. I'm finally on Shadow Band. I hope for a while. I hope it doesn't come back. I'm going to be, uh, that's the thing. I don't like self-censoring. I don't know. I just have to be careful what I post or at least what I caption stuff because I'm usually caption. still pretty aggressive with captions. So I'm going to have to yes. be like less aggressive with words. Yeah, you know? like, I don't know. Like, yeah, just, I just like say, if you're talking about abortion, don't put fucking abortion <laughs> in your caption. Just yeah. put something, and then people go, oh, "This is interesting," and they go, "Oh my god, he just talked about abortions." <laughs> you know, so I, like you, you can't because I don't, I I really have a hard time believing that these they have these robots actually skim through the videos. I bet you they just like have like an algorithm that reads your caption and everything in it, and then sees if you're. Yeah, I've gotten videos taken down on TikTok immediately just from the caption. They tell me and yeah. like, they highlight the word in the caption. Like yeah. I remember, uh, whenever I used to do joke a day or whatever, I had a mm -hmm. joke about Pornhub um, banning like all their content on that day. That was yeah. a big story, and I had mm -hmm. the word Pornhub in the title, and that thing got taken down right away. So you just okay. you can't have certain yeah. words. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, I, before we go, just one last thing. I entered Portland's uh, funniest person. I entered the contest, and That'll that's gonna come up too. So I'll get all those videos and post them on YouTube as well. Um, I still got to work out uh, a set. I have to make a set for this Tuesday still. Today's Sunday. I, have not, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to have time to memorize well, it by Tuesday. Well, yeah, you can. Well, you can just, you're, you know, you're on, he's on his way to celebrate his, his sister's birthday for dinner. Mm -hmm. And the car to start busting stuff out, you know, because you can, since you can't drive, I guess that's one thing about good about you. Since you don't have to like drive, you can just focus on kind of, you know, working on your I shit. Do. I, I do so, work constantly while I'm yeah. doing other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do my lowest lane abortion joke. I think I'm okay, going to do it. Well, yeah, I think it's going to, I don't know how well it'll go over in Portland, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks again, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next podcast.